friends, Jessica here, and I'm so excited to introduce you to my new 24 karat gold brush magic collection, which lets you make these amazing textured directional strokes in Photoshop um, that look like metallic paint in every color of gold, silver, rose gold, and any other colors that you want. And I've actually been toying with this concept for the last couple years, and then I've spent the last couple months finally finalizing it and putting it into a turnkey solution so that you can just pick up a brush and and do that and make these strokes just like this in this really cool um amazing textured magic kind of gold uh effect here just by drawing a stroke like that so it's super cool and so this is going to be the quick start guide so we're going to get you going show you how to use this and then I'll go in more in depth with different techniques in other videos. So if I'm going to, first of all, I'm just going to show you the product. And so if you look inside your folder here, you're going to have an ABR file, a TPL file, tool presets file. You're going to have a JPEG brush preview, which that gives you a preview of all your brush strokes and it's super handy. And then you're going to have a sidebar palette, which is what we're going to sample the images from. That's a PSD file, double click to open it in Photoshop. And when I am working like this, I like to have that side, the sidebar um, palette over here on my left. And I go to window, arrange, and two up vertical to have this vertical workspace with two documents open side by side. So it's really handy for me. You can always just flip between the tabs if you like. So make sure you open up that PSD and get that into your um, Photoshop. And then you're gonna wanna double, for most people, if you're working with a more modern version of Photoshop, you can just double click the ABR file. It should open automatically in Photoshop. Um, same thing if you are in an older version of Photoshop, you can use the TPL file. They're the exact same brushes. It's just if you have like CS5, maybe CS6, I'm not sure, then you might have to load the TPLs. I can't remember exactly which one. Um, and to load them up, if you're on the newer versions of Photoshop, you load them up into your brush panel. And if you don't, uh, if you double click and they don't automatically load into your brush panel, go to Window, Brushes, so that your brush panel shows up just like you see here. Go to the top right corner and go to Import Brushes and navigate to where you've downloaded your brushes and load them up. And you'll have them all here in a nice row. If you're on an older version, you open your Tool Presets panel, go to Window Tool Presets, and this will open this Presets panel, and then you go to the top right and you click Load Tool Presets, and the same thing, you navigate to where you've downloaded them and load them up. And now we are just ready to go. So um, I'm going to go through the brushes here. We have got like five different drawing brushes, and... I'm just going to show you, I'm going to grab a gold color here. These are really handy if you're wanting to kind of knock out some shapes and they're not anything, not any special fancy kind of um, brushes. They're nice for creating like this rock gold kind of nugget shape. So sometimes if you want to create a shape and you want that, the gold to like stay in there, you can use these as like a clipping mask layer. So. These are super handy and I'll go, you know, more in depth in other videos, but those are just some basic drawing brushes. And then you've got the meat and potatoes here, the mixer brushes. And all the mixer brushes are, it's really cool because they are preloaded with a gold um, palette. So you can just grab the brushes and start painting like this, which is really cool. And I've already preloaded, um, like a nice gold. So they're all different styles of brushes and they have all different kinds of effects. And as you can see, they are like directional. So um, they'll follow like, you'll see, you'll see, you know, like the direction of the brush stroke, which is really nice. You know, this is something that you might not, an effect you might not been able to achieve before, especially if you're like, drawing a shape like this and add a gold layer style on top of it, no matter how cool the layer style is, it's not going to have that movement like you're really painting this gold 
textured amazingness um, fantasy paint. So it's super fun. So those are the main ones. And then you've got some scatter brushes, which are great for having like a little, you know, some kind of, I don't know, scatter rocky kind of gold nugget effects. I don't know why my, my uh, whenever I'm using my pen tablet, it always does that like it, the shift is hold down or something. And then we have some texture ones and same thing. They just have like some really cool um, kind of textured brush strokes. And then we have the wet brushes, which are very cool indeed. And these are not duped from my other collections. Oops, this one's being a little slow because I'm recording and my computer is a bit low on RAM right now. So anyway, you'll get the idea, but normally they will go very fast <laughs> when you're not, if you're not like me, I'm working on a slightly old computer and recording at the same time takes up a lot of memory. So, and then we have some little like twinkle lights, which I like to accent some of my designs with. So with the lights, lights like that. And so it adds like a nice little sparkle. Now, um, these are just regular brushes. So almost all of these brushes are mixer brushes, which means you need to load a color up into them and then it's going to paint that color with varying degrees of like wetness. But I've already experimented and created these brushes with all the wet settings saved in, so it's like really magic and you really don't have to think about anything. But this is nice. Um, you know, they already have the 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 gold right in there. But one thing I will show you is if you want another, like if you, one thing about loading the colors into these brushes is if you change the brush size, you want it a little smaller, then when you do that, it's going to change the color into the last thing that you've sampled, color or image, whatever. So like say you want this in gold, like, you know, you see here, but you're like, I don't want the brush this big. I want to take the size down. Well, if I hit my left bracket to size it down, it's not going to have the right color. So what you need to do is if you want to, with all of these brushes, just like all of my wet brushes um, before, you need to sample something. And I have created and messed around and remixed these images and created this like, this really amazing gold and it's taken a lot of time to find just the right kind of golds that make make it look good no matter what you do. And so what you can do is you can just sample from the sidebar and then paint over here. And the sidebar is great because if you look in your layers over here, um, right on top we've got original gold, which is the one I use the most. But if I hide that, I can see there's a saturated gold underneath, a desaturated gold, a dark gold, a warm silver, a cool silver, a rose gold one, a rose gold two, and copper. So if I want to make a rose gold stroke, then I go over here to my rose gold layer, and with my brush selected, I option, or I believe in a, a, a PC it's alt, and you're going to have that the cursor change so that it's going to pull up the image from where you select it from. You're going to option click, and then I'm going to sample somewhere in this image. And then I can go back over to my document. And when I paint, it's in rose gold. So it's just that easy. And you can try it from all different um, areas of this document. So you can sample experiment and you know sample over here, sample over here. And you're going to always have a different um, effect. So it's really cool. But my favorite place, my favorite ones to sample from is from like the top and then the bottom down here. I use these like gold foil paper mixes that I made here for like a lot of the foil. This is a darker one. So I kind of all blended it all together so you can just sample and have fun. And it's just so, it's so cool. And what's cool about the sidebar um, palette is like, I have all these layers hidden underneath the original gold. But what you can do is like when you sample, you don't need to like, um, deselect all these layers to get this, the layer you want. Just go to the layer that you want, like warm silver. And I'm going to go over here, option click. Even though that layer is hidden under other layers, 
I sample whatever layer that I'm on, it samples from that layer. So then whenever I go to my document, it's going to go in the warm silver. So this is a time saver. So you don't need to like unhide these layers or, you know, bring this layer to the top to sample from it. Just select whichever layer you want. Rose gold to here. Go over here, sample somewhere on this, um, you know, on the top or the bottom. Hit option, select, and then you can go back to your document. And it samples the rose gold. So that's super cool. It's super easy. Just pick which color that you, metallic color that you want to um, paint in. And yeah, and then just start painting. So it's really great. Um, and it's fun. It's fun. Like these are all like really live. So I'm going to go over here and go to, this is like no layer styles, no color overlay. So you really get that mix of paint, you know, and it's super fun. So like I just drew some rose gold on here, but I can go to wet four. I'm going to go over here. And then I'm, this is a gold. And like you can just look at how these paints interact. And it's just really cool and really amazing. And you can do some super awesome stuff with it. So that's the fun of having those all those different colors and not using overlays. This is live brushes. This is no layer effects. This is 100% Photoshop brushes. So um, I think I've gone over the basics of everything. Oh, wait. Um, let's see here. And if you're using the tool presets, you use it exactly the same, no difference. The only difference is, is that you don't see the little previews. And one thing that I want to show you here, I'm just going to deselect this. Uh, I have these blending brushes, um, which they're mixer brushes as well, but and they're already preloaded to have no color inside of them. And so that way they're really good for like blending um, like this some of the layers. So you could just make some cool like dripping gold effects. That's blend one. I'm going to undo that. It really pulls that paint down. Here's blend two, which has like less of, it doesn't pull the paint so much, but it can have a really cool like bumpy effect, but just make some really cool like liquid gold or liquid rose gold in this matter. And then blend three has more pressure. So it blends those golds like really well. So it's super fun. We can have a lot of fun with that. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments. And then in the other videos, I will go through and show you some different tips and tricks. And also, I'm going to show you um, the rest of the sidebar palettes and how to create your own color palettes um, that are not just the typical metallic colors. So hopefully you guys have a lot of fun with this. There are so many applications. Um, please feel free to share your work with me. Tag me. I would love to see what you create. And um, happy creating, and I'll see you soon.